Alright guys, so today I'm just going to be doing a uh, short video uh, showing you guys uh, what I have on my desktop and uh, programs, uh, everyday programs that I use. So we're just going to jump right into it. First thing it's going to be is uh, Safari. The reason I use Safari because I straight up hate internet browser. Firefox is alright. Um, Opera, the new one that just came out, that's alright too. But overall my favorite is... Uh, uh, Safari right here because I mean the interface is great look click on that go through your history just like you would scroll through your albums in an iPod click up here it shows kind of the sites that you go to the most and it sort of adds it to your favorites just uh, find one you want uh, I'll check uh, Amazon just click it brings you right to that site so uh, up here a new tab it's uh, awesome another thing I like about this is if you spell something wrong it, red underlines it, left click, it's, it's kind of like a word editing, it'll, uh, or right click, I mean, sorry about that, and it'll bring up a whole bunch of different words that it could mean, so game. So that's Safari. The next thing I'm going to talk about is Notepad++. Um, pretty much what this is, is just a, a big upgrade from regular Notepad. Hang on. I mean, you see the difference. This is regular Notepad right here, and this is the Notepad++. I mean, so many different fe uh, more features in this. I mean, encoding, language, setting, macro, run, text effects. I mean, it's amazing how much just the new, the better Notepad. Notepad++ is amazing how much above it is the regular Notepad. I mean, and up here, if you want something new, click new, and it'll give you tabs. Um, it's awesome. Notepad++. Plus plus. Um, the next one I'm going to talk about is uh, Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum 10. Um, what can I say about Sony Vegas? I mean, it's Sony Vegas. What's there not to like about it? I mean, the, the new interface for Platinum 10 HD, it's awesome. Just, it's great. Um, you got your easy timeline, timeline down here. I mean, so many features up here. Uh, just a bunch of different effects and everything. This also comes with a lot more effects than uh, Sony Vegas 9 came with. Some extra effects that it comes with. Some graphics and things. But uh, yeah, Sony Vegas, I mean, definitely if you're into video editing and uh, you're not sure quite, you're not quite sure what to choose, definitely 100% steer towards uh, Sony Vegas. I mean, there's not, I can't explain how many things and different things and how many features and stuff Sony Vegas is. I mean, it's just amazing. So, yeah, definitely check that out. Next is uh, Adobe Photoshop CS5. A must if you work with photos or different kind of graphics or anything like that. And the CS5, the new one is awesome. The interface, I, like, I can't stress enough. Just like I did with Sony Vegas, how much the, inter how nice the interface is. Um, CS Live up here, manage your uh, your CS account and stuff, this is new to CS5, um, design, painting, essentials, have your swatches over here, I mean, so many different things you can do with photos on here, and especially the new thing, content awareness, what that is, you can find that in a video on YouTube or something, I'm not going to show you right now, but uh, I might do it in a different video. Um, what content awareness is, you have a picture right here, and say it's just like a background, and you have trees here. You want to, you just uh, go around the trees with like a with like a, the uh, selection tool and uh, click delete and content awareness will come up and it'll replace the whole background of what you want it to be, what it think it should be. I mean, it's it's so many different new features in CS5 that it's honestly it's a must have. And lastly, what I'm going to talk about is uh, Camtasia Studio, which is what I'm using right now to uh, make this video. Um, Again, the interface on this is amazing. So much easier than uh, Camtasia. This is Camp Camtasia Studio 7. So much better than 6, I think. The interface is so much easier. A lot, It's a lot better for beginners when you first open it up. It has a tutorial video right in here. I mean, it's amazing. De definitely, again, if you work with video editing and stuff like that, um, making videos, I mean, Camtasia Studio is definitely something that you would uh, want to look into. 
and uh, you can actually take a video if you have a webcam, take a video of yourself and put it down in the corner like if I wanted to. I could have a video of myself right down in here. Um, I mean, so many different extra features that Camtasia Studio 7 comes with, over 6, I mean, it's amazing. So definitely you need to look into Camtasia Studio 7 too, because it's just, it's awesome. So uh, that's about it for uh, stuff that I have on my computer. I have some other stuff, but I thought these were probably the most important. Um, probably going to be getting Visual Studio 2010 Ultimate here, because I'm getting into game making and writing a game code and stuff like that. So uh, I might do a review when I get that too. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, like. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.